Hello everybody, this is Major7, welcome to the second episode of Tlome, the life of a musician. This is my phone, yes it is. I am terribly tired and you might see that I have something here. We'll find out what it is in the next video, but uh, it's been an incredibly long day, so yeah, sorry for that. Today I'm bringing you with me on another music trip. This past weekend I had the chance to have my first debut in a theater in Milan. It sort of felt like my very first debut in a theater, and let me explain. I've already played in theaters quite a few times, but they were music shows and not theater plays. I have also acted in theater plays, but never on a professional level. I was a musician on stage, directly interacting with the main actor in a theater play. It all felt new to me. The play that we've enacted is a homage to Piero Ciampi, one of the most misunderstood, underappreciated, foolish and controversial... <laughs> controversial, foolish uh, Italian songwriters. Coming from Livorno, in Tuscany, his tormented soul led him to the necessity of expressing himself through music and poetry. The title of the play, Piero l'Italiano, comes from his nickname, the nickname that he had when he went to Paris uh, during the 1950s learning the art of the chansonnier. Most of his lyrics are about his relationship with women, alcohol, freedom, life and death. A unique point of view, that of a true artist moved by an internal urgency, a constant apprehension to metaphorically and physically destroy the boundaries imposed by his society. Piero, who was at the peak of his career, Basically during the decade of his death, the 1970s, he would die in January 1980 and in this period he wrote the most uh, beautiful and remembered songs uh, during the collaboration with the pianist Gianni Marchetti. I want to leave you to a short footage about and around this uh, theatre play uh, with the lyrics of a song by him. Ha tutte le carte in regola per essere un artista. Detesta lavorare attorno a un parassita. Vive male la sua vita, ma lo fa con grande amore. Ha amato molto due donne. Erano belle, bionde, alte, snelle. Ma per lui non esistono più. È perché è solo un artista che l'hanno preso per un egoista. La vita è una cosa che prende, porta e spedisce. Hello everybody, it's um, 20 to 2, Sunday afternoon, I just got up from the couch, I was watching Juventus and I fell asleep. And I'm going to Milan for the fourth night in a row of Piero l'Italiano, that is our latest production, so let's go! It's raining and I've got a big major problem with my shoes. <laughs> I swear I'm going to buy a new pair soon, <laughs> but ah, my foot is soaking wet. Uh, let me explain, I need these shoes for tonight's performances, so that's why I'm wearing them. I've arrived where I'm supposed to meet with uh, Dimitri and he's already here, that's pretty rare. We are waiting for our van, yes. drinking coffee meanwhile. I'm tired, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Dimitri cameraman, we are going to Milan, we've got this beautiful van. Volkswagen, Volkswagen, Ornella Vannoni. Ornella Vannoni is playing on the radio. Yes. We are in Milan. Super cool cities. Skyscrapers. Without them, because of the fog. We have arrived at the theater that is quite peculiar because it's right there. <laughs> so we're going up with an elevator that's here. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't disturb the photocellula. Here we are. Jasimi! Tranquillo. Ciao, ti pasto? Sì, tu. Bene, grazie. No, stai bagnando tutto! Eh, acqua. This is my keyboard and here is Dimitri. The play should start in roughly an hour. Let me bring you to meet our sound engineer. Let's go up the staircase. Here we are. 
barefoot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the backstage. <gasps> A wild Dimitri. Woo! I'm gonna place the camera here, right on top of the projector. <laughs> No. Ma vaffanculo. Ma come tu sei la mia? E siamo in questa stamberga. Tu i censi addosso. Io adesso esco e ti porto una pelliccia di leone con l'innesto di una tigre. We have just finished and I've got 1% of battery, so it's gonna be the end. Yeah, super end. I'm doing some more footage with my phone because my camera is out of battery. We have just finished taking everything off the stage. All right, we're going back home. We've loaded the van. We've got to unload it, load our cars. Then we're going to eat something together, me and Dimitri, yes. today's official cameraman. We have arrived in Erba, we are unloading the van. Finally time to eat some waiting for my piadina. Sono molto felice. Thank you all for watching this video. If you want to know more about Piero Ciampi, write it in the comments, but the best suggestion I can give you is to come to see our play. We are working to bring it in as many theaters as possible, so be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'm leaving the links to my pages in the description so that you can be updated about the upcoming events. Subscribe if you want to, hit the bell to get notifications when I upload a new video, and share this content if you liked it. Thank you all again for watching, bye bye, bye Major 7.